Hey guys, so I am back with another Sunset Beach tutorial and the main reason I'm doing this again is because my last one that I did for you guys fell off my turner. Yes. So my tutorial from the last time fell off my turner. It ruined, um, there was no saving it whatsoever. So I decided to go ahead and do another one, but I changed up my colors a little bit. I've already got the epoxy layered onto the tumbler. You do want a light layer of epoxy on your tumbler. And then I have my epoxy pre-mixed and ready for my India inks. So the colors I'm using for my India inks are golden yellow. And these are all Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay India inks. So, and all I do is whenever I'm mixing my India inks with the epoxies, I shake it up to get the color out from the bottom and mixed up real good. And then I take the dropper and four to five drops into the epoxy. And then I stir it up. If I want it to be a deeper color, I'll stir some more in. And like this golden yellow doesn't look that bright because it's mixed with epoxy. But once it goes on the tumbler, it actually turns into a really pretty yellow. And this is, this is my completed one. So this is the one that I'm going to be recreating for you guys today. And because these inks kind of do what they want, we're going to, we're not going to see the same exact design. So I use a combination of India inks, calligraphy, a calligraphy ink, and a pinata alcohol ink for this tumbler. So what I, what I'm doing now is I'm just mixing all of my India inks with my epoxy. So that way I can layer it onto the cup. Now, while we're doing this, you're going to see my colors dripping. My piece of orange on there. You're going to see my colors dripping a little bit off of the bottom of the tumbler, and that's okay. I need to put more epoxy where that orange piece was because it kind of came off. So. And the lighter layer you have on your tumbler to start with, the less likely you're going to get those drips. So shake it up real good. My orange is a mess. And once again, just four to five drips. Mix it up real good in your epoxy. And if you want more vibrant colors, you, you're more than welcome to add more drips into your epoxy of the color you're wanting. Let me clean this one off. One second, I lost my dark baby white. My orange India ink is a hot mess, and I'm not sure why. I'm just going to clean up the rim real quick. That way I can screw it back closed. There we go. So my orange and my yellow are ready, and I do use just regular orange for the orange, and then I use red violet, and these India inks, I, I've seen them at Michael's, I've seen them on Amazon, Amazon is where I personally got mine, I have two wheels of 12 colors, so I have 24 colors total, and that's what's let me create a lot of my India ink designs. And for me, I prefer India inks to alcohol inks. I feel like I have better a better handle on how I use my India inks versus mm -hmm. my alcohol inks. I'm not really, I haven't mastered the alcohol ink concept quite yet. So I have two more colors that I'm mixing up. I have violet, and then I'm also keeping the rest of the epoxy that was not used to layer onto the tumbler on the side. And for my mixture, for my epoxy, for the main tumbler, I do 10, part, 10 milliliters of each part. So 20 milliliters total. And that's so I have extra at the end. And then for each of these little cups that my India ink is getting mixed to, it's five milliliters of each part. So you gotta think this is a lot of epoxy going onto this tumbler. So it's probably going to drip off the bottom. I have a drip pan underneath here for that reason. It just lets me keep track of my, my well, not really make a mess of my 
my table, even though my table is a mess. We all know how crafting can be, right? So now that I have all of my colors mixed, I have all five of my main colors mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and start layering them onto my tumbler. And let's see if I can get y'all a good angle. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more drops of yellow into this. I want it a little more brighter than what it's showing me. And you can play around. You can put as little or as many drops as you want into your epoxy just to see how it does. The difference um, between alcohol and India inks is the India inks are pigment based while the alcohol inks are dye based. So these are, these are gonna sink to the bottom of your epoxy. They're not gonna lay on top like your alcohol inks do. So for my Sunset Beach, I start with my golden yellow. And I'm gonna start right about, right at the bottom of the lip. And I'm gonna go a little above that. So just like this, and I'm just gonna layer it on. And you're gonna see it dripping because we are adding a lot of epoxy to an already epoxy tumbler. And that, the reason we we're adding the epoxy to the epoxy is by having an epoxy on your tumbler already, you're giving the, the the inks the ability to swirl. If I were just putting this on a, a non-epoxy tumbler, it wouldn't swirl as well as it does. So, I mean, you're gonna, you see all that dripping down there. It's okay. Um, that's what happens. You're, you want the dripping. You want it to drip because then you know that it's not gonna be too thick and it's going to level itself out. The next color is the orange and all I'm gonna do is right where this top is, I'm gonna a little bit into the yellow and I'm going to go up a little bit. And as you can see, my orange dripped onto my, where my water is going. That's okay. It's okay. You can see that they're starting to swirl together and creating that uh, fade into each other, that ombre effect. So above that, you can see my little drip of orange right there. It's okay. I'm sure I can cover it up. Um, the colors will continue to move for probably two hours after I'm finished applying all the colors. So what it looks like when I'm done applying all of them will not be what it looks like whenever it's completely set. So next I'm going to take the red violet and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the orange into the yellow and I'm going to do the red violet into the very top of the orange. So I'm just going to bring it in there. And this one my sunset is a little bit higher than on my uh, my original tumbler, and that's okay. I don't want these tumblers to look exactly the same. And as you can see, I'm just dripping in that one spot because there was white patches missing. And I mean, I am gonna add white for the clouds. I got another, I got red violet into my yellow. But that, like I said, it's okay. This is, these colors are all gonna mesh together, so. And like you still see the dripping down here. That's okay too. So next is the violet and we're, we, we start from the yellow and work our way up and then we do the water. So you see that right there? It, it's kind of, all of these colors are just kind of going together. And then the violet, we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna bring it to the top of the tumbler. And with the violet, I'm not concerned if it gives me full coverage all the way up to the very top because I'm gonna use my white pinata ink and I'm also going to use my heat gun to kind of spread these colors around. I want majority of it covered, yes, but it's okay if it's not all covered because I'm gonna use, and this, I used definitely darker violet this time. So, and I mean, as it, as it, the inks move, they're gonna cover these white spots for me as well. I'm just gonna use every single drop out of this cup that I can to get these, this coverage that I'm looking for. 
Okay, now that that's, the sky is now done. So you're seeing the yellow and the orange come together. You're seeing the orange and the red violet come together and you'll start to see the red violet and the violet start coming together as well. So now we're gonna do the water. And the water is aqua, India ink. And it looks like a greenish blue, but that's okay because we're gonna also use blue as well as iridescent deep blue calligraphy ink for the water. So I'm just gonna start from the bottom and I'm just gonna zigzag up to the sunset line. And because I'll be using another ink down here, it's okay if it doesn't give me full coverage. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the leftover ink from earlier and I'm actually going to mix my blue into it. Now, last time for that other tumbler, I used turquoise in the water. And this time I wanna use blue because I want more of a water. I want different water for this one. So I'm mixing up the blue into this one. And it's pretty vibrant blue. And once that's mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and zigzag it into the aqua. And I have quite a bit of blue in here. So I'm gonna be pretty, close with my zigzags. And you're gonna see all of the, you know, you're gonna see a lot of dripping because we're adding a lot of epoxy to the bottom of this tumbler. And now we're just gonna let that go. And you can see that the two colors, I don't know if you can see it, but the two colors are kind of coming together to create the water for me. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna let those swirl a little bit down at the bottom and I'm going to take my pinata alcohol ink in white and I'm gonna have my heat gun ready and I'm just gonna add a little bit of white into the sky. So just a couple dabs here and there, nothing too much because I'm gonna use the heat gun to move it around so I'm just gonna put a few here or there. And now that it's coming back around, I'm gonna go ahead and take my heat gun and I'm going, to, I'm not gonna apply it straight to, but I'm going to do this on each white. And it breaks up that white and also gets the epoxy moving to where that white moves. what it's doing. It's giving me the cloud effect that I want, which is the streaks of cloud. And I'm just going to take the heat gun off of it and watch it for a minute. And I'm going to play around with this cloud and let, make these clouds move a little bit. And I don't want it to apply the heat gun too much because it will cause a lot more dripping. As you can see, there's more dripping and that's because I'm moving the epoxy. So now I'm just going to let it be. Those are gonna be my clouds. So as you can see, we have the streaks of clouds in the night sky, the sunset, the, uh, the yellow staying pretty well on this one. And we're just gonna let that up there swirl. And we're gonna take the iridescent deep blue, and we're gonna shake it up real good because we wanna get all of this mixed in. So we're going to shake it up as good as we can. And we're going to randomly apply straight drips of this iridescent calligraphy ink into the water. Maybe if my, my dripper wants to work. Oh. There we go. And just here and there, and we're just gonna, and they're gonna move with the epoxy. And I do straight drips of India, 
India ink and calligraphy ink to give it depth and, pers um, you know, dimension to what I'm adding it to. So I want there to be some depth to my water, kind of like this one has, you know, some depth and dimension to it. That's what I'm doing to this one. So I don't want too much. I just want it to run. So I'm going to let that be. And then I'm going to take some straight drops of blue, straight drips of blue, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just small amount of drips. And then I'm going to take my aqua and I'm going to do the same thing. And this just gives it the look of, and feel of water. Not the feel, but you know, the look of the, the water. So I'm really liking the way my sky turned out. I'm really liking the way the lines turned out. So I'm not gonna do anything else with my sky. The very last thing I'm going to do before I completely leave this alone is I'm gonna take white India ink and, and I'm gonna apply a wave effect around the water line and the sunset. And how I do this is I take straight drips of my white and I put it right around, ooh, that's lovely. The white just leaked all over me. <sighs> Joys of a crafter, right? You can never get out of it mess free. So I'm just gonna apply straight drips throughout. And once it comes back around and I see my straight drips again, I'm going to take a, popsicle stick and I'm going to create a wave effect and by that I mean I'm just going to do this if you can see me bring my white up and as it turns it will even back out the epoxy so if it looks crazy don't worry about it it will even back out and after it comes back around I'm going to add more white because I see spots that don't look very wave like And my white is actually still moving. So I'm gonna let it move a little bit. And you can see the wave effects that I'm wanting. So, and you can see that they're they're still moving around. And these wave effects are gonna move move around until it's set. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Life of a crafter. I'm gonna add a little bit more white into places and take my, the other end of my popsicle stick and kind of wave effect it. I don't wanna to use too much white, but it looks like my sunset is taking away my water a little bit because my water line has moved down. So now what I'm gonna do is after I'm done playing with this water is I'm going to take my turner and I'm actually going to angle it up and this basically is telling my water to move up and my sky to move up and all of my inks are going to shift up and I'm not going to leave it like that because I don't want this right here to get you know a lip on it but I am going to watch it for a couple minutes and see how it does and you'll see my white has made its way down into the water itself and my waves so but this is pretty much it guys that's that i mean it's a lot of epoxy and it's a lot of inks it's a lot of dripping it's a lot of uh patience and working with a heat gun and kind of figuring out what you want it to look like you know so i might have put too much white up in the sky but i really like the way the clouds are looking they look broken up they, they're streaked, you know, and my water is coming up. I'm losing my yellow, but my orange is looking really good. So that is pretty much my sunset tumbler. And like I said, this is my finished one. This is the exact same colors as this one. And as you can already tell, it's going to look different. So none of my sunset beaches are going to look exactly the same. But this is actually my, my most popular design and I came across it by accident. This design, I was just playing and this is what I came out with. So 
Um, I've had quite a few people request an exact uh, a tutorial for it. And so that's why I'm here today. And now I'm just, I'm going to watch my Turner. I'm sweating a little bit. My garage gets a little hot. Plus I have a space heater on just in case it falls below a certain degrees in here because I want my epoxy to set right. So I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch my water line. I'm going to watch my sunset line. And if I need to, I'll put it up. I've already moved the Turner back down to where the cup is level again. And I'm just going to keep an eye on it. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to pop a comment. Um, send me a message on Facebook. You can find me at Enchanting Creations Boutique on Facebook. Or you can even find my... Uh, my personal profile, I am Norma Jenkins. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions about this design or any other designs that I've done. I'm more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. I'll see you guys later.